Hello, everybody. Hi. Hello, everybody. Happy Saturday. Happy weekend. Happy Saturday. <laughs> we have a guest with us here today. I'm Adam. I'm Ryan. We are Husbands That Cook. We do this every week, and today we have a very special guest. I'm Christina. Yay! Hi. We Chris met her a few <laughs> weeks ago at an event. Aida from Salt and Wind was hosting a dinner, and, Officially, and yeah. Christina was there. We hit it off, and we said, let's do this. Yes. And I love that we're here, and we're doing it. Yes, we are. So Christina is a chef author, we'll talk about that in a second, um, personal chef, blogger, she is everything, um, and she specializes in Greek cuisine. And she put out a book in November called Opa, the healthy Greek cookbook, and we're going to be cooking some zucchini fritters from it today, and uh, it's a beautiful book. So the interesting thing about it, Christine was, Christina was saying that how quickly she had to turn it over. So how long do you have to write this book. So we were published, um, my co-author and I were published by Rockridge Press and they look to see what you guys want to read and they get their analytics and they find the right author so they found my writing partner Theo Stefan and she brought me in on the project mm -hmm. and we had about two and a half months to, to write the book. That's but that yes, is crazy. There's 90 recipes. Um, it's uh, a mix of vegetarian, non-vegetarian. There's mains and desserts and sides. Mm -hmm. um, it's beautiful. A lot of like traditional Greek dishes, but with like a healthier with twist. With a healthy modern spin. So, you know, these are our grandma's recipes that we <laughs> just, you know, now that we live, you know, 60 years later, this is our California spin on our grandma's recipes. And I love it. There's about 5% that are still some of our grandma's recipes that we could indulgent. Yeah, that we didn't really want to mess with, but this is just <laughs> fitting our lifestyle. And, and I don't like to, you know, I, I cook a lot. I, I cook in volume. Mm -hmm. I don't have three hours sometimes to take to make one dish, but if it's the right dish, I'll do it. But right, for, for the special you, occasion. Yeah, for you, I want to make it easy. And for all my friends in Ohio, I know sometimes it can be a little hard to uh, to get ingredients. So I wanted to write my recipes with things that you could just easily find at your Trader Joe's or your Kroger. I love it. That's Ross. great. Yeah. No. Who wants a cookbook that you can open up but you can't make any of the recipes? So exactly. it's great to have the common ingredients. I just wanted to show everybody how it's organized here. So every recipe at the very top has a little thing that says whether it's gluten free or nut free or vegetarian or vegan. But um, so you can just go through all the recipes and it shows it at the top. And they about. have the Greek name for all the recipes. So today we are making something called zucchini fritters, but that's not really the name. No. Tell us the real name. <laughs> the real name in Greek is kolokitho keftedes. Kolokitho keftedes. Everybody got that? Everybody got that? <laughs> Everybody got that? <laughs> we want you to all say it along with yeah, us. Yeah, say it with us. Kolokitho keftedes. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> we did it. So that's the real name, but um, and let's say what it means. Do you want to tell everybody yeah. what that actually means? So if you're familiar, if you've eaten at a Greek restaurant or you have a Greek cookbook, keftedes are the traditional Greek meatball, and okay. they'll be served as a meze, as a starter, really great with tzatziki. Mm. Kolokithia is the Greek word for squash, mainly zucchini. Okay. So kolokitho keftedes would be the zucchini falls. Me <laughs> I love it. Today we're baking, so yeah. Yeah, that's so fun. So, and what does oppa mean? Oppa is an exclamation. Like, you drop a dish and you say oppa, or you're like having a party and you're dancing and you say oppa. Uh, so okay. it's just, you know, you're, it's like awesome. Arriba. Yeah. Yeah. I love right. it. How fun. <laughs> that's so, so cool. Uh, Christina was saying that you can actually fry these uh, zucchini fritters. Um, today we're going to do the healthy route and we're mm -hmm. going to bake them, but um, you but, could. Yeah, they're yeah. still golden and delicious and crispy they're, and perfect. They're perfect. I don't think you're really missing out on anything yeah, at all. Yeah, don't need it. And the reason I like baking them is because if I'm doing a bunch of things at once, I'm not hovered over my fryer trying to make sure that you know everything's getting consistently mm -hmm. golden. I just stick them in the oven for half hour, away, do walk something away, else. make my tzatziki. Yeah, you know. perfect. So some people are starting to join now. El Brown one three four. Happy Saturday to you too. Okay, life is uh, in Russia. Russia. I love Russia. Thanks so for nice. joining Thank us. Thank you so much. It's uh, we're here in Los Angeles, um, just outside of it, in a little town called Eagle That's Rock. Nice. Um, and, <laughs> hi, Alex. Oh, hi, Alex. My husband's there. Oh, hello, <laughs> hello from Bombay, Chicago. Oh, Chicago. Yeah, wow, let us know where you guys are all so watching from. Cool. We love hearing uh, where you guys so are from. So cool. Um, yes, yeah, so I 
love Greek food. It's one of my Thank favorites. You. I grew up going to Greek restaurants, and when I was, I think maybe like eight years old, I put my first dollar in the waistband of a belly <laughs> dancer yes. at a Greek restaurant, and I was mortified when my dad made me do it. Uh, he's, like, he's like, no, it's a compliment to yeah, her. Like, go, go do it. I was super embarrassed. But anyway, I grew up loving Greek food, but I don't really know that many Greek recipes. I've never, I'm not that experienced with it, so I'm really excited to explore this cookbook more and um, try these for first. I think it's a really great way to start and dip your, your toe into making Greek food. I love it. This is it. Opa, the healthy Greek cookbook. Look for it everywhere where books yeah, are sold. Yeah, Amazon it's, especially. It's yes. I love right the way it's organized and there's some cool illustrations. Yeah. There's some cakes. Look at this cake. Oh, that is. cake. My, that is Theo's Ooh. zucchini olive oil cake, which is zucchini just so... Zucchini lemon olive oil. Yes. Wow. That sounds Another so thing you can do with zucchini. What can't zucchini do. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Is there any of the leftovers we'll put into a cake? We'll put yeah. it in make it a new cake. <laughs> um, well, sure. Should we start cooking? Yeah, yeah, let's do it. People are waving. Hello, everybody. Hello. Hello. Hello, Asago. Um, so we, this is a simple, simple recipe. Everything goes in one bowl. Um, we've done a little bit of prep work. So this, oops, this is grated zucchini. Um, How many zucchinis is that? This, is, well, we're doing a half recipe today. So this is about two zucchini. Yeah. Um, but after we grated them, we toss it with a little bit of salt, mm -hmm. put them in a, a strainer and let them drain for about half an hour. Yeah. And then we just squeezed them, put them in um, either cheesecloth or like a nut milk bag yeah, that's and just great. squeeze it, all that liquid out. So yeah, you want it to be dry as possible because you don't want them to, to come apart when, right. when you're baking. Yeah, and it was amazing. Like when I started with this, this was a much bigger pile and it really shrunk down a lot, um, which is great. So then we have this sort of like nice dry um, shredded zucchini. Uh, Cooked by Colors here. Hello, Stephanie. Uh, Lori says we went to Greece for our 25th oh, wedding anniversary. Nice. What a treat the food that's was. So great. Yes, well, that's I mean, great. Greeks is known for their food. Yeah, like, I mean, that's my, you know. Yeah. And there's actually a lot of vegetarian options for um, for us, you know, yeah. there's noodle ball and... Mm -hmm. um, if you are a vegetarian and you go to Greece, you're going to eat so well. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's so high on our list, we yeah. really want to go visit. My I vegan friends to. just, you know, they go to Greece every summer and they really? rave about it. Yeah, because That's you know, great. Greeks are cooking with olive oil, they're right. not... Everything is, they, everything is fresh from the garden. I love it's it. Just, I love it, I love it. Um, okay, so we have our uh, zucchini in there. Yes. What else is going in? So you guys have some onions. Some green, green onions, onions and scallions here. This is the picture. We actually posted it on our Instagram page oh, yes. yesterday. Yes. Oh, yes. And all, uh, or most of the photography mm -hmm. in the book um, is from uh, Hel Helen or Helene mm -hmm. Dujardin. Um, I don't know if she's watching today, but I she's <laughs> super talented. <laughs> um, we love her. Yeah, she's amazing. She's um, so let's see. So we have some feta, of course. Always. You can't. Yeah. Cook without feta. This. Such an easy. I love one bowl recipes. Oh my gosh. Especially so like you easy. said, you can just put it in the oven, walk away, and you have a gorgeous appetizer mm. for a party, for uh, an appetizer for dinner. Um, I love it. Make a double batch and have it as a main yeah. course. Yeah, and you can freeze these and just you know oh, that's a good freeze idea. them in batches, mm. pop them out whenever you need them. Need like a little so, snack. Yeah. Yes. Oh my gosh. Um. So now this is pecorino romano cheese, which is not traditional. But um, tell us what tradition is. Yeah, so usually um, I use cafalotiri, which is very similar to a pecorino romano. Okay. We just um, sometimes don't have access to all the Greek cheeses here, so mm -hmm. we make substitutions. Okay, and this, great. Your flavor is going to be right on with because it's a firm cheese, cheese that's yeah. pretty salty. A very salty. Okay. You know, so yes, we have some pecorino romano going in. Perfect. Um, we have garlic, of course. Yes, lots of garlic. Sure, check it out yeah. garlic. Uh, we have well, some fresh, fresh dill. dill. I feel like fresh dill is used a lot yeah, in Greek food. Yeah, cooking, yes. Mm -hmm. And so if aromatic. you don't like dill, and some people don't, you could switch up the spices in this dish. You could put mint, mm, you could put basil would change the flavor a bit, mm. but you could totally do it. Also, oregano would be fine mm. in here too. Okay. So whatever your tastes are. Okay, we have an egg to hold everything together. Yes. Add that in. Where else is everybody watching from? Let us know. And saw some new people joining in. Hello? The last one is just some breadcrumbs, yeah. right? Just plain old Easy. breadcrumbs. And yeah. that... breadcrumbs, panko, whatever you want to eat. Okay, use. that Please. is it. So now we're gonna stir this up. Now, do you like to use your hands? I love to use my hands. Should we do it? We have yeah. napkins in this stuff. Yes. 
Okay. Uh, for those of you just tuning in, my husband's the cook. We're here with Christina Zenos. Oh, yes. And um, she's so lovely a, and talented. Yes, yeah, she has a <laughs> website called mysweetgreek.com. So definitely go head over to her page later. And she also has an Instagram account, which is X, like the letter X, Tina Zenos. And it's just X E N O S. But yes. definitely check out her Instagram page. Yes. And if you're in LA and you're looking for a personal chef, I'm. I will help you out. She can come she to your house all. and cook anything you Greek, non-Greek, whatever you want. She does it all. Uh, somebody said they're tuning in from Nashville. Here's another one okay, from Hawaii. Hawaii. Hello, Hello. Oh, that's really, I'm sorry. <laughs> um, and if you want the recipe for this, it's in the cookbook, but it's also on my website. Oh, great, so you can great. go to mysweetgreek.com and get the full recipe make there. Make it this afternoon. Yeah, perfect. make it today for sure. Oh, perfect. Well, do you want to? Yeah, the honors? I love it. Hey. So, Whenever I'm making these or like the spanakopita, when you really want to mix things really well, you got to use your hands. I mean, you could use a, a spoon, <laughs> but it's, just, it's not as fun and you're not, you know, mixing it as well. Right. Yeah. You want to make sure the breadcrumbs and the feta get in here. Mm. Mm. It smells so good already. See, and, 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 so and fresh. It is the gel. It's so mm. and the garlic. It's so aromatic. And, mm. oh, I love just it. Just that briny feta. I love. Oh it. yeah. It's so 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 good. And so we were talking earlier that you we're doing these these little appetizers, little um, just little patties that you can like two bite dips. Um, but if you wanted, you could do you like could a do larger mm -hmm. patty. You could and she was saying you could toss these over pasta. Oh yeah, and nice. you're like so a zucchini personal. meatball. Mm. You could do a really big one and just make kind of a zucchini veggie burger out of it. That sounds amazing. Um, I love it. Or you could put it in phyllo and make a zucchini pie, which mm. is a very traditional mm. dish in Greece too. So, so versatile. So you're just making a filling, and it can be incorporated pretty much anywhere. I okay, let's that. do There's it. Lots of options, guys. I love that. Oh, so should you want to get that cookie great. sheet, and then sure. we will make some. Oh, well, first let's brush this. Sure. We're gonna brush, we're putting down some parchment on this, but we're gonna brush with a little oil um, just to make sure nothing Hello. sticks. I <laughs> love that too. Yes. Yes. <laughs> nice. I love it. Here, I'm just gonna go like we this. have a couple Greek recipes on our website. Um, we have one for uh, Mahamara, okay. which is oh, a red I dip. And you can put it with vegetables or pita, and it's really delicious. Um, we have a uh, we have a tabbouleh recipe. We have tabbouleh. We have roasted, and we have like a roasted eggplant dip. Ooh, Ukrainian Ooh. cuisine! I've never had Ukrainian Ooh, cuisine. I want to try. Uh, I would love to try Ukrainian. Tell food. us what's a good vegetarian uh, Ukrainian dish that we should try. Mm. Let us know, and we'll uh, we'll make it on the show. Okay. Yeah. Should we all try making some fruit? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so we're gonna we have an ice cream scoop, but it's not the kind with the little the release. release. We should get one. Of those. But if you're having a party and you want things to be very uniform and mm -hmm. beautiful, if you have just a, an ice cream scoop or that is, you know, just like with cookies, it'll make sure that you get, you know, all the uniform size. Perfect. I normally mm -hmm. just use my hand and eyeball. Should we just it, do it? Let's, yeah. do it? let's just each just yeah. so grab a little bit. Yeah, so the uh this filling is nice and firm. Yeah, see, and see how it sticks together? It's, it does. It, it pulls together really, really well. nicely. It makes these little patties. It's so not yeah. too wet. So you can do a ball and then just, I just, just like to kind of it. press it down and. Yes. So cute. Oh, look how easy that is. So easy. So cute. I love it. Oh, they smell so good. Oh my god. You how guys, long? Greek Easter is tomorrow. Well, Eastern and right. Eastern Orthodox Easter is tomorrow. So for my Russian friends and my. Antiochian friends and of course my Greek friends were all madly cooking today because we're getting ready for a big feast on, on Sunday. So what are some of the things that you guys are making? So I'm out of this, so I got lucky this year. My husband's cousin is roasting the lamb, so I don't have wow. to do that. Uh, so we have about 17 people. Oh my and gosh. And putting it on a rotisserie and doing the whole thing. So I'm out of this um, making our Greeky cream spinach recipe, which mm. was my writing partner's recipe with um, Mizithra cheese and love spinach, Mizithra. and I am in love with this recipe. It is so good. delicious. And I'll probably make That's some fun. of these for the appetizer table. Thank you. And then we're making tarama salata, which is tarama not salata. In I love this. the name. Yeah, <laughs> it's not in the cookbook, but it's um, my husband and I. We just it's our favorite dip, and it's made out of. Um, Either cod roe or carp roe, and it's oh. whipped up with bread, and it's just delicious. So it's kind of a Greek caviar spread. Interesting. Um, it says V. Ledoro says he also In celebrates you... it uh, there tomorrow yeah, as well. Interesting. Happy Easter. Yeah. So now Happy Easter. I don't want to put you in this spot in case you don't know, but do you know why it, there's two different yeah. Easter dates? So basically, um, a long, long time ago, the Catholic Church and the Eastern Orthodox Church were one church, and then they split. 
Um, the Western Church, they um, started following a different calendar called the Gregorian mm. calendar, where the Eastern churches stayed on the Julian calendar. Oh, okay. And there was there's something with spring in the phase of the moon, but basically it all boils down to we have to follow Passover. So Passover is happening, the last day of Passover right. is today, so since Jesus' last supper was the Passover, Passover yeah. Seder, we have to wait till all that has passed before we can have our Easter. That makes sense. Yeah. So, so you have it at the same time, that makes sense. Yeah, That's so cool. and we are, sometimes we're on the same day, sometimes right. we're okay. a week apart, sometimes we're five weeks apart, it just Wow, depends. okay, I'm gonna grab a couple more napkins. Okay. Yes. Um, but yes, so I'm gonna grab some more napkins. Thanks, guys. So yeah, for those of you just tuning in, um, I am Adam from Husbands at Cook, this is Christina. Hi. And uh, we are in Los Angeles. Uh, we met a few weeks ago and we decided to uh, do this live cooking show for yes. you guys. Yes. Um, so these are rich. You can see our patties here. They are gorgeous. So gorgeous. And see how they're, they're not like... So if you, if you were making these and you saw that they were a little drippy, a little wet, I would throw everything back into the bowl and add maybe a few more breadcrumbs Great and just, just to keep them from, you, know, you want them to spread when you're baking them. Right, so. that's perfect. But these are perfect. Yeah, these so. are perfect. I see Alex asked, what was served at the last That's a great <laughs> question. Thanks, husband. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm guessing some no leavened bread, yeah, probably. Exactly. <laughs> some, some matzo. Some matzo, no, some wine that had previously been water turned into wine. Oh. Um, but uh, yeah, so we are going to throw these in the oven. Um, now, we have a special oven here, we which do. we'll discuss in a second. Normally, these bake for about 30 minutes at 375. Is yep. that correct? Mm -hmm. Do you have to flip them? You could flip them, but what I like to do, just to keep it super easy, um, I just pop them under the broiler. And yeah, then, and great. Then okay, good tip. Get a nice crispy top. Um, but we don't have time to wait for half an hour no. for baking. It's Hollywood. It's Hollywood. Yes. So we have a special Hollywood oven that's, that's right. going to cook these in about... Two a seconds? second? Yeah. yeah. One or two seconds. So would you want to put, do the honors? Yes. Watch how quickly these will this bake in front of your perfect. very eyes. It's yes. amazing. We're it's, so lucky to have we this. We are lucky. There it goes. Cooking, 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 cooking. Here cooking, they cooking. come. Oh my wow. goodness. It is hot. It is hot. Look at that. Look how brown and beautiful. They're golden. Perfect zucchini fritters. And let's say the name again. Colo Kitho Yes. Yay. We did it. They I are love that golden word. and perfect. And so to serve these, um, we have some fresh lemon juice that oh, we yeah. actually yes. just all picked from our yeah. tree. That's right. And we have some uh, tzatziki, um, which if you haven't had it, you should. It's basically yogurt, cucumbers, uh, garlic, yeah. maybe lemon, Chikini. dill. dill. Mm -hmm. That's traditional, but in our book, we also have one with olives, which is fantastic. Ooh, that that sounds sounds delicious. Delicious. And especially with these guys, sometimes I make a sun-dried tomato tzatziki, where instead of mm. the cucumber, Ooh. I use sun-dried tomatoes and dill and garlic and it's just and it's kind of reddish so it's a good mm. contrast see that's why she's a personal chef uh, <laughs> no crumbs left is here hi, hi terry. terry thank good you to for see joining you. us <laughs> Hello from Toronto in my little Hi. kitchen. I love it. Yeah, so nice to have you guys all here. Yes, I saw uh, Vladoro said um, he recommended the bor Ukrainian the borscht. borscht. Oh. So as a vegetarian dish from Ukraine yeah, that we could try. Nice. So we'll have to oh, try that. Totally. So that was something I did not, uh, my grandma made borscht growing up. Uh -huh. When I was a kid, I was not into it, but now I am in love with beets <laughs> and I need to give borscht a second chance. Yes. Oh my God, I so think good. I would like it I now. think you would like it now. You love beets. I love now. beets. So, okay, this is Hi. this is like torture. For yeah. me. No, I'm like, oh. should we, oh, should we try it? Hot. Should we try one? Yes, we do. Do you recommend <laughs> do you mean lemon or, or, or the tzatziki? So I would try? just, if I had a piece of lemon, I would just kind of lemon oh, everything up. Okay. So you could like sprinkle. Okay, here. Yeah. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna kind of do this. My yeah. Okay. That's okay. So like on anything, you know, baked like this or fried, like we always love putting lemon, like calamari, anything mm. like that. It just brightens up everything. It really Look at does. This. I want to show everybody it's one more time. Look how, how perfectly perfect. golden these are. Mm. Nice and crispy. Okay. And it comes from this book. Oh, the healthy Greek cookbook. Um, it's lovely. Christina is one of the authors, and um, you guys should all go out and get yeah. it and make yeah. these tonight. Make, make these tonight. tonight. So good. Okay, so let's try it. Should we try it? Yes. Yeah. Cheers, guys. Cheers. 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 Yay. Yes. Thank you, guys. Mm. Oh my god. Mm. Mm. Okay. Mm. Still mm. hot. Mm. Oh my god. Thank you, guys. Mm. Oh my goodness. So that I, is so good. I also mm. want to tell you guys and to all your awesome um, friends on Instagram. Yes. My writing partner and I, 
want to take you to Greece with us this summer. So from June 15th to June 17th, we're having a food and wine weekend on oh. Crete, which is where my family is from. Wow. So you can come to Hanya. We're going to take you to two local wineries and one Incredible. local craft brewery. They're doing craft beer in Hanya. Wow. And then on the last night, we're going to have a huge feast outdoor at the Olive Oil Estate where Amazing. my partner yeah. got her olive trees from. And we're going to have a bunch of recipes from the cookbook. And then we're going to roast a lamb. And it's oh going to be gosh. where dancers and musicians. Wow. So if you want to find out about that, you can go to my Instagram account and okay. it's right it's the link in my profile so one more time the dates june 15th through the 17th 15th through 17th in she's going to agree so her uh, instagram is x like x-ray tina and her last name, Zenos, X E N O S. Definitely check out her Instagram page. And come see me in Greece. That would be awesome. So, so fun. I've always wanted to go. I've seen, every time I see people that go to Greece, I'm just like, mm. it looks like heaven. It is heaven. Just the blue water and the islands and the food, food. and the people. Oh, yeah, like, and June's a really good time to be there because it's still just the start of the season. Mm -hmm. So, you're getting yourself. You're not in big crowds. I love it. These are so flavorful. I mm. want to talk about these for a second. Um, mm. They are very, very one. tasty. Uh, I love the lemon on it. I love the fresh dill mm. and the garlic. The feta. Uh, the texture is absolutely perfect. Mmm. They're so good. These are, I'm going to try with the tzatziki mm. too. Yeah. Lajor said he's been to Thessaloniki. Mm -hmm. Those are fantastic. I still need to go to Thessaloniki. They mm. have amazing food there. Mm, 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 mm. Yeah. Oh my goodness. So I could you. eat all of these. <laughs> I know. It's so easy. And they're healthy, so you can. You can. <laughs> exactly. Mm. Um, thank you guys so much Thanks for, for tuning in. This is so fun. So fun. This is a great recipe. Um, it's a great book. You guys definitely check, check it out. It out. Um, so fun. I love doing this every week. I we're almost in a year. We've been doing this every Saturday for about a year, and it's so much fun for us. Um, you guys make it very special for us, and uh, we love you guys. Yeah, Thank so you. we will see you next week. We'll be back next Saturday at noon with another recipe. And uh, yeah, thanks so much for You guys, thank you for having me. Of course, yeah, thank, thank you. And thank you like the recipe. Oh my god, I love, love the it. recipe. And I watch our page because I guarantee you that we're gonna be making more stuff <laughs> yeah. from this book. And when you guys make it, tag us so we can see what you're doing. Definitely. And then let me see how it turned out. Yeah. Oh, it says a request. <laughs> Thanks everybody. Thank you for tuning in. We'll see you next week. Bye everybody.